<laughs> Hello everybody. <laughs> Today we're going to be changing the sway bar links on the Mark III Jetta 2.0. Uh, they should be the same for each the uh, VR62. But so I skipped ahead here and I already took the wheel off and I jacked the car up. And you're going to come down over here right next to the drive shaft boot is the sway bar link. And underneath, there is a 13 mil nut that you have to take off. And then after that, I kind of hit it upwards with a hammer to get out of the hole and remove some of the bushings. And this one's completely out now. So once you do that, you're going to take the bushings out. And this was really rusty, so I sprayed it with PV and then just turned it left and right, or clockwise and counterclockwise, to loosen it up. And then it pulled itself off. For this part, um, I try to turn it counterclockwise and clockwise like I was saying. So I put a spud bar underneath it and then you want to kind of pry down and towards the middle of the car. And then up a little and it'll get it rotating. And it'll go a little bit at a time until it breaks loose. And then you can hammer it back the other way and start going again. Here we have the new sway bar link on the left and the old one on the right. And the center is kind of bigger on the right one because of how much wear and tear went through it. But it was still hard to get off because it was really rusty. But for the new one, I put grease on it um, inside the link and on the sway bar itself. If that's a bad idea, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comments, but you might want to spray the sway bar again with PV and then scratch it down with a metal brush is what we did last time. What are you talking about, dude? Explain how we pry them. <laughs> it's really simple. Yeah. Yeah, put grease on. And then you gotta put a spud bar in in your shock screws and ruin them. Can't hold the camera steady. I put a spud bar in the nuts of the strut and had it the like spoon end outwards like this, so you could push it on flush. And then how do we push it forwards once it got over the hump there? It is. Super awkward mess. Oh, yeah, I use my foot to hold <laughs> a metal pipe and then another spud bar keep hammering on it, I think. Well, someone else turns. It's gonna be a lot easier if you can take off the rotor and you want to do that. But it's possible to do it without. And then you just put the one bushing on and pull it to line it up with the hole and then drop it. And then you're gonna have to do some prying to get it into the hole while you screw the nut on from the bottom. Alright, so we, we got real lucky here and we're going to be filming two videos and it's going to be how to get a lug nut broke off from a Jetta which is not like a Ford where they would be part of the rotor. So, the Jettas have threaded rotors. This one, we tightened it too tight and it snapped inside of the rotor. As you can see, the lug nut's in there. So we're headed to Walmart to get the tools, and we'll be back in a minute. Alright, here's the culprit. Uh, just did a midnight Walmart run. Yep. So basically, you get your Black & Decker drill bits, and then you go to Walmart's tool section, and you get your Black & Decker screw extractor. And you're going to drill a hole in the lug bolt. And then you're going to stick the screw extractor in there, and it's a reverse thread, so once you get started, it's going to pull itself out. So we're going to pull the lug nut out. So hopefully the metal isn't too hard for these bits. These lug bolts are pretty hard metal, so if you have a torch, it's probably going to make this a lot easier than using shitty drill bits, but we got it in in this tiny little size too. Yeah, you kind of want to start with a small drill bit and then build up from there. But we got it in there, and just an adjustable wrench right now is pulling it out, so... Yes. 
Oh, we sprayed some PB in there too. Because New York. And here comes the lug nut, so even if we can't get it out with this, we have the vice grips. Oh, it's coming out. Dude. It's coming oh, out. Oh, shit. Dude. No fucking way. You probably do it like by hand. Dude, out. yeah. I feel so powerful. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> gonna go to the car wash now, because it took like four hours to do the sway bar length, and we got to the last tightening lug on this wheel and just snapped. Also, it's like 20 fucking degrees out. Oh yeah, it's like 2 in the morning. We went to Walmart at like 11, so... We can finally have round 2 with this wheel. And Mike's gonna tighten them all again. No, dude. <laughs> Unexpected video update. We were listening to music, and I drained the battery, so... We're going on like 2 o'clock now, so I'm gonna hook up the battery charger. And we'll be out here in half an hour. The sway bar links didn't do shit, by the way. But we're at the car wash, so. We made it. And the snow tires feel alright, even though there's no snow, so I can't test those either. I disagree. Ah, confetti! Whoa! That's dope. It's a good thing I changed my ignition coil, or this thing wouldn't start. I'm kind of scared if the car's gonna start. Oh, oh, because of water? Thing? Yeah, but that'd be so funny, dude. No, it wouldn't. Triple A, I'm stuck in the car. <laughs> dude, that'd be pretty hilarious. So, this place is trash. It's all sensors, dude. I'm telling you, man, that's the best car wash you're gonna get. Oh. Don't look at the rust. <laughs> Sorry, I zoomed in your face. <laughs> 